Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, live from the Friars Club, the Pat Cooper Show. Here's Pat. How's that for a lead-in? Thank you, my friend, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third show I've done. Uh, the wager was I wouldn't last after the first, and I wouldn't last after the second. I made the third. If it ends tonight, what can we do? I'll go back to slides. It's a very, very, very happy time. I saw things today that made me feel upper. Because the last couple of months in this country, I got depressed because things weren't going right. A lot of mistrust, a lot of lies. Not that I haven't lied, man, I lied. And I stole, I did all the crap that you're supposed to do growing up. <laughs> I saw a man get off a plane yesterday. I'm not a Catholic. I am born and raised a Catholic, but I'm not a Catholic. I'm a hypocrite. And I'm going to tell you something. I saw today's news and yesterday's news. I saw people with tears in their eyes for this man, the Pope, Benedict. I saw something that this country needs more of. We need more of emotion for good things. We don't seem to flaunt the good things. We seem to make excuses for the people who are unfair to the people of our great country. That's the sad part. But I saw today thousands and thousands of people wanted to touch this man. Again, I'm not a holy man. I don't believe in all the Catholic stuff. I don't believe in priests. I don't believe in bishops. I believe in decency. I believe in spirit. I think spirit is so wonderful. And this man made a statement on the plane before he landed in, in Washington. He says, prayer. That's such important. Prayer. No one's ever said that. Prayer. Get involved. Pray. Get emotional. I mean, here's this little guy that didn't have the personality of little John, who was magic. Little John was magic. And then the gentleman, the Polish gentleman, <clears throat> magic, they had a way. This guy, this guy has a glare, his eyes. I mean, I'd be scared if he looked me in the eyes. I would probably, probably melt. But you know what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen? This, this should make us wake up. Wake up. We should wake up and say, you know something? We're not going to be pushed anymore. I'm not telling to overthrow the government. Of course not. Why do you think prices are going up? Very simple. Somebody out there is making money. You hear me? Making money. I was during the Second World War. You couldn't get nylons. You couldn't get cigarettes. We got them. We got them. We got anything we wanted. We got coffee. Anything. You got money. And who's the guy that was selling to you? The guy across the street. How he got it? None of your business. Mm -hmm. But you know something? We got everything. What's happening now? The gasoline's going to go to $4. I just came back from Italy a few months ago. They're spending 5 $6 for gasoline. They go on the bicycle. They go on the scooter. And they go, hey, what's all on me? They don't care. They don't care. That's not important to them about the price of gas. What's important to them is sitting down, dipping the bread in the sauce, Common sense. Of course the gas is going to go up. We've been doing, listen, I was here when, when gas was when, was a dollar for 12 and they gave you a glass. They gave you a glass. Today, it's going to be $4 a gallon or $5 a gallon. Don't cry over it. Because the yesterday is over, ladies and gentlemen. We're involved now in a new era. We're involved in a lot of lies, a lot of crap. Uh, we're involved in big politicians. I never saw a or heard about a politician that is poor. Would somebody tell me poor? Would somebody say to me there's a poor politician? We got a blind governor called Patterson. I read in today's paper he made two hundred and fifty thousand. Him and his wife. He donated his clothes to the Salvation Army and went wrote off a hundred and fifty dollars. What does that tell you? Here's a guy that. Spitzer got caught with his pants down. The second guy, who didn't want to be governor, he's blind. He only sees what he wants to see. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He's been banging broads. His wife's been bouncing around. And he's okay. That's good. Why don't they throw him the hell out? If you really want to get technical. That's, that's what I say. But you know something? We don't have the balls. We don't have the balls. But I'm going to tell you now. Now that the mortgages, people can't pay their mortgage, the price of food is going up, you're going to start to see the American people say, hey, when does this stop? When does this stop? 
To make 40, 50,000 a year today is nothing. When you make 50,000 a year today, you're poor. You're poor. You can't live with 50,000. How can you live? Today, in order to break even for the year, you've got to make a couple hundred thousand dollars. And if you've got kids, forget about it. If you've got four kids, you've got to buy four cars. You know, my father says, you want a what? Excuse me, Pascal, what do you want? I said, I want a car. He goes, listen to me. Now, in those days, the subway was a nickel. He says, if I five cents, they open the door for you, you'll sit down. You come to your station, they open the door for you for five cents. For $750 in those days, that's what the car costs. Who's going to open the door for you? Common sense. Common sense. Now we're spending thirty, forty thousand for a cheap car. We're going to spend more for, for the gas. Food, I'm reading today's paper. Food's going up. All right, let me explain the, the philosophy. If they raise the food, we're going to have to go to our bosses. We need a raise. Okay, now we get a raise. Now our bosses need a raise, so they got to turn around, either lay off, or they, it's not it's not healthy. Am I bugging you, Joy? No, it's right. my boss, Joy. No. I'm speaking to Joy Behar. She's one of my guests, and Dominic Chinesi is one of my guests. And I'm not going to say Dominic Chinesi from The Sopranos, of course, of course. And we know Joy Behar of The View, of course. I just want you to understand, I know both of these people. I know Dominic Chinesi when he sang. When he sang, not Maravellmana, all those same, solo me you. This guy sang songs that I heard years ago on the radio. Why did I go to Dominic Chinesi? You see, what they're up to me. I was on a road here. I didn't back, to, back to high prices, uh, from gold. Back to high, no, I'm not picking on her. There's a reason I'm doing that. Like Stop looking at my material. <laughs> anyway, hey, yes. subway story. anyway, I just want to say it bothers me because my days are over. People say, what do you do for a hobby? And I'll say it a million times, I rehearse dying. That's my hobby. I lay on the floor and I say, how do you like me, this way or that way? That's reality. The Hillary Clintons and the, and, and, and the Obama Damas, all these guys,